Peter SCF Fieldhouse at Massasoit Community College in Brockton, Massachusetts. The site of today's NJCAA Region 21 semifinal between the undefeated Massasoit Community College Warriors and the Bristol Community College Bayhawks who come into today's contest at 15 and 8. How you doing everybody? I'm David Cardoza and alongside me is Megan Holden. Megan, a great contest here today. Semifinal matchup, tournament basketball. It does get, does it's it get a no battle better. between David and Goliath, Massasoit Community College coming in here um, as a second ranked team in the country, 22 and 0. And they go against the Bristol Community College Bayhawks who have had their best season in their history under coach, first year head coach, uh, Jay Henley. Yes, it will be a tough matchup for the Bayhawks, but I mean, they've been facing tough matchups all season and they have the mentality and I think they uh, can make this an interesting game. And the Bayhawks are out without their, the lead, one of the leading scorers in the country, Jada Fortune, they don't have here, here today. But the Bayhawks have been, they've been playing good basketball here down the stretch. They have this, they, they are 15 and eight. Mm -hmm. They're going against the Warriors team is 22 and 0. In, in their building, can they, can they pull off the upset here today? I know you are the, um, you know. <laughs> yeah, I do all the You know how you are. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm the, I'm the green teamer, if you want to call it. Uh, I mean, if they, if a big player step up, Katira James, we, we saw a drop a 51-point game this season. Uh, Rivera, she steps up. And if anyone plays their role, I think this team is capable of putting on a game. I talked to Coach Hanley before the game. He said, we're not going to change anything about this game. We're going to play our game and play to the best of our ability, play on our pace, and just face the, uh, have that tough mentality that got him here. For sure, and we're going to have a great contest here today. We're going to be starting here just a little bit. And, um, yeah, I know you are the green teamer, so <laughs> um, anything can happen. Yes. You know, the Warriors 22-0, and 0, but the, um, the Bayhawks, they're no slouch. You know, like you said, Katera James, mm -hmm. you know, she's a top scorer, and I, I want to see Abby Hurley. I want to see her assert herself yes. down the paint there today. Yes, I agree. And then Chopper. Chopper has came on uh, late this season, but she's been a vital piece for them, you know, scoring when they need to. And she, she's trying to develop that outside shot. But those are two players I'm looking to step up for this game. Who's, a, who's your, like, who's your dark horse? Who's your surprise player? Who needs to step up today? We know, you know, Abby, Hur you know Abby Hurley can assert herself yeah. on the inside. You know, Katera James, what she brings to the table. Who is your dark horse? Who needs to step up here today for the Bayhawks to even have a chance? I think Rivera. Rivera, just, she's so fast. Just get her inside the paint and then just kick it back out. I think if she keeps doing that all the game, um, she, can, she can create a lot of offense for this team. That's for sure. So, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for this regional semifinal matchup between the undefeated 22-0 Massasoit Community College Warriors and the Bristol Community College Bayhawks. We'll be right back with Cardoza's keys to the game right after this. All right, so let's talk about those keys to the game. How you doing, everybody? Cardoza's keys to the game. Take chances. You got to take chances if you're if you're a Bristol Community College. Um, <laughs> you got to take chances if you're Bristol Community College on defense. You can't sit back in your laurels. You can't sit back in a two-three zone. You got to attack. You got to trap. You got to trap at half court. You got to make things happen on defense. And also. If you're Bristol Community College against a team like Massasoya, who can, who can, who can score in bunches, you need, you need to be able to hold on to the ball. Hold on to the ball. You don't need to. You're not going to get an up and down battle with them. You need to be able to hold on to the ball deep, deep into the shot clock, get good shots, and um, and limit the possessions for Massasoya. So those are Cardoza's keys to the game. And let's set it down to courtside for tonight, for this morning's starting lineups. <laughs> and now, let's meet your starting lineups.
get this game started. All right, good morning, everybody. Morning basketball and JC double, double, double A semifinal between the Massasoit Community College Warriors coming in here undefeated, going against the Bristol Community College Bayhawks. How you doing, everybody? I'm David Cadoza, along here with Megan Holden. Hope you get your cappuccino this morning, your scrambled eggs, your shot of espresso, and all that. Where else would you want to be but the tournament? <laughs> right here from the Peter ACF Fieldhouse here in Brockton, Massachusetts at Massasoit Community College. Massasoit Community College with an unbelievable season. Trying to end it with a bang. They make this high as number two on a NJCAA uh, stand on a ranking, so it's no easy task here for oh, Bristol Bayhawks. They, yeah, they, Massasoit has been, because obviously, 22-0, yeah. and 0, they've been either the one, two, or three team in the country all season long. So Bristol Community College, can they pull off the upset? I talk about Cardoza's keys. You gotta be aggressive on defense. You gotta attack on defense. You can't rest back with that with that zone. You gotta take a chance here. And on offense, Bristol needs they need to slow the game down. Don't let the game get too fast. Don't let the game too, get too ahead of you as we're underway here from Brockton. And there you go. There you go. Rivera got the numbers. Rivera, oh she thought about it. You can't play scared. Chopper goes up, puts it up. Looks Get aggressive. Oh, yeah. I would have loved to have seen Bristol score on that one. Yeah. Going back the other way, Tia Rivera. Loose ball. Abby Chopper. This nice. is where this is where I would slow the game down. Yes. Get the right possession offensively. Yeah. Slow the game down. Well, defensively, they're double teaming a little bit. You know, they're playing aggressive. Um, it's just about interior defense. I want to see from this team. And then uh, offensively, they made they were playing a little hesitant in the beginning. I thought Rivera just missed a pass to James. And yeah, I think, I think the nerves got, a, got the best of her. James for three, there and she nailed go. it. That's a good start for Bristol. There you go. Katera James, they need a big game from her today. She's capable of it, 51 points early in the season. Bristol in 2-3 zone, that's what I've said. You gotta go out and you gotta, you gotta go out and attack their shooters. You gotta get a hand in their face. You gotta play spirited basketball here today. There's there a loose ball. Go. Rivera, get a look up, you get there a look up. Katera James goes up. Oh, oh you got it! Oh, you gotta, you gotta make those. Just a little too hard. You gotta calm, calm down, and just get the body, get the body control. Yeah, I think you know, probably a lot of nerves. A lot of these girls playing in their first ever postseason game. There's a three-pointer, long range coming off, no good. Oh, you gotta box out. Too easy. Coming oh, off, wow. gotta get the rebound. Gotta box get the out. rebound. Gotta get the rebound. Good job getting Three. your hands up. Yeah, good job there. Short jumper, that's no good. Got to get the rebound, Abby Hurley. Another rebound for, for, the, for the Warriors. There it is. Wow. You got to take Five advantage. Five misses. You got to take advantage of this cold streak. That, uh... Rivera loses the basketball. You got to take care of the basketball. Katera James, a short there jumper is go. good. Katera James with the free throw line. Katera James came to play. And she's got five early points here for Bristol. She's definitely stepping up as a team leader. That's for sure. The sophomore getting it done. Here's Collins with the basketball. That 2-3 zone is effective right now. Collins, the jumper, no good. Massasoit is 0 for, 0 for everything from the field right now. Oh, she has to, Rivera got to do a better job looking Rivera, up. Rivera, cross-court pass. That's what I mean. You got you to make better decisions. Here comes Ty Hawkins, the jumper. It's good. Yeah, and she's the scorer. She's and having the, to run with 30 points yeah, a game. They need to take her out. 5-2. She's scoring, uh, Bristol in good shape here. Need to slow the game down. Yes. Make the best offensive play. James, nice fake there. Jumper, no good. Rebounded go, by Hurley. Hurley. Hurley looking to put it up, and she'll get fouled, and she'll go to the line. There you go. Bristol off to a good start here. A lot of energy, very spirited basketball. Yeah, could hear James definitely stepping up. You see a little bit of nerves here, but players are making the right plays defensively, and... Uh, Keep trying, just keep trying offensively. But like I said, you got to take care of the, you got to take care of the basketball yes. against a team like Massasoit. You can't make mistakes. Yeah, you can't make mistakes. They're so good defensively, and they're so athletic. They're so quick. Yeah. yeah just you know, play within yourself, mm -hmm. make good crisp passes, don't turn the ball over, and hold on, hold on to the basketball. You don't want to give the Warriors, you know, that many possessions. No, you don't want to give them that team many chances, and. You know, with this team, Massasoit going defeated, you got to take advantage of every opportunity you have. Hurley misses the first free th makes the first free throw, missed the second. Bristol playing sharp defensively. 
Nice interior passing there by Massasoya. See her, Lisa's down. Eliza, Eliza Bell with the hoop. Kicking it back out. Katera James for three. Can't get it to fall. Long rebound. Vera's playing a little. Corralled. Going back the other way. Oh, that's oh, you got to call it offensive there. As Hawkins, I thought that should have been offensive on Matea Young yeah. running into Hurley. 6-6 six, six here early in the first quarter. Oh, nice pass inside to Hurley, but you can't handle it. I'd call it I would call a timeout. Yeah. And they grant the timeout to. No, they, no, uh, they don't grant no. the timeout. Say so jump ball and match so as well. Yeah, position arrow in the favor of the Warriors. See, uh, we got a great count crowd on hand. We see the war uh, the Warriors fans, Massasoit Community College fans. They got paint on their face. They got yeah the uh, the student body. Very well represented. School spirit. Ooh, good job of collapsing this Bristol. Bristol playing good two three yeah. right now. They can't forget cross about court the pass. Good ball movement there by the Warriors. Coming in with a floater and it's good by Matea Young. And yeah. the Warriors get their first lead of the game. Yeah, the the Bayhawks can't go. You can't forget about the inside. No, like I said, you get to slow the game down. Driving to the hole is Katera James, and she'll go okay. to the line, and she'll. Oh, they're saying travel. Really? I don't know about that one. All right. I thought she got the contact here. Okay. Home team getting the calls here early. <laughs> going into the lane. The jumper in the corner is no good. Rebounded by Hurley. Going to get on the boards there, Abby Hurley. Pushing in is Rivera. Rivera and around the back. Flashy dashy. She's got dripper moves for days. Oh, going to the hole. Nice, yeah. nice take there. They missed Hurley, though. She was wide open under the net. Going back the other way. And they're going to call a foul before the shot. Yeah, and Rivera. I love Rivera's heart getting in there on inside, but... Slack of size. Rivera's going to be more careful with the basketball. Yes. They're going to need her to um, play almost mistake-free basketball for sure here today. Yeah, I think it also might be the nerves. She's playing a little fast. Yeah, too fast, I think. Yes. In the lane is Bell, the miss. Rebounded by James. Boy, does James. James does she need to play. Yeah, she. James going to the back. Basket. Mm. Can't get it to fall. Loose ball. You know what? You keep taking that shot. Rebounded by Young. Jumper at the elbow. No good. You can't get into an up and down game. No. Rivera going to the basket, using her body. Oh. Hurley's there with the offensive rebound, and she's going to get the foul. Yeah. She's going to attract the foul call, and she'll go to the line for two. Great job by Hurley. She, she couldn't get in front too much, but she did a great job of staying under the basket. This, yeah, you're, you're saying this can't be a back and forth game. Bristol don't have the speed no. speed against Massasoit here. Exactly, you're not going to get into an up and down up and down game. It's just like for any sport. Like when the Patriots played the Chiefs a year ago in the AFC Championship game, they ran the football. They limited that high powered offense of the Chiefs. You know, limited their limited their possessions, limited their touches. They took, you know, they um, you know, took care of time and possession. That's what you're going to do. You're not going to go up and down with this team. How you feel about cool. Bristol uh, bringing their whole whole team back on defense? Oh, there you go, Rivera. Oh, never mind now. It's a good move now. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think they, their defense needs to be set up. Because Massasoit is so quick. Yes. The three-pointer, no good. Long rebound. Come on, we got to box out, guys. Bell, short jumper in the paint. Short. Massasoit not hitting their shots. No, I feel like if you take care of Hawkins. Loose ball on the floor. On the floor. I'm looking for Marcia to step up too. She's a she's a knit and grit player and get all the little things done. Here's James. James looking to drive. 13 on the shot clock. Rivera. Get to move around if you're Bristol. Yes. James. And they're gonna say she stepped out. Yep. What? A few turnovers here by James. She's had a she's had a travel call. She stepped out right there. Well, she's being relied on on the whole, for the whole team to put on their offense. And Massasoit knows, knows that, so they're trapping her in. But the Bayhawks are moving around, create offense other ways. That's for sure. In the corner, kicking it back out. Bell thought about it. Being guarded well there at the top. And she's going to get the foul. 
I'm sorry, Matea Young, Young drives to the lane, and she gets the foul, and she'll go to the line. Young's playing uh, pretty aggressive this game, going to the basket a couple times. You know what, what I like, though, is Bristol's defense. Remember I said they needed to be more aggressive, mm -hmm. needed to take more chances, needed to get out there and defend the, the three-point shot. Yep. I think they've been doing that today, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, the Warriors are a high-scoring team. They're a team that can get up and down the floor, and I think Bristol's kind of stymied them a little bit, and the Warriors are not hitting their shots. Yes, defense. Second free throw made by Young. She's averaging a little bit over 10 points a game, but Bayhawks defensively are doing their job. Offensively, they got to find ways to get uh, more offense than just James. they got to yeah. move around. Offensively, they need to do it right now. Defensively, they're doing a good job. 10-7, Chopper. Chopper thought about three. Goes to the – drive it to the hole, kicks it back out. James. Oh, I oh. thought she might have got hit on again yeah. there. They're not, they're, not, they're not calling any fouls when she's going to the lane. Here's Hawkins, pulls up, puts it about the glass, and gets the hoop. And you're right. The Bayhawks right now are relying way too much, looking for Katera James way too much. Someone else has to step yeah. up. It looks like Chopper is trying a little bit, but she just can't find, can't find her shot. Chopper mm -hmm. gets it to James. There you go. James going to the lane. No foul. And she there gets it. She stays with it and puts it up and in. She tells her ref, it don't matter. I'll get it anyways. <laughs> exactly. She's not getting the foul calls. Now let's see how they call it here in the tournament. They uh, it's a little tougher. Here's Bell. 13 on the shot clock. Nice fake there by Young. Oh, oh. nice find. Nice pass. Nice drive and dish from Renasha Frazier. Hurley got to stay and with And I think that's a good time out there by Coach Hanley. Yes. And Hurley 14 and 9. 220 here, left to go here in the first quarter. We'll be right back after this on FRC Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. I always knew I wanted to go to college. I just didn't know how or when. Bristol gave me the flexibility to balance work, family life, and the things I love to do. I was able to transfer and get a bachelor's degree in the field I am passionate about. Bristol helped me so I can help others. Working as a mentor and a coach, I know I'm making a difference. And I'm able to show my kids and others the value of a college education. It's never too late. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. Welcome back, everybody, to the Peter SCF Fieldhouse here in Brockton, Massachusetts at Massasoit Community College, hosting the Region 21 tournament, the New England Regionals for both the men and women's. It's postseason basketball. Today's leap year. Yeah, happy We're not leap quite day. in March, but we'll be there tomorrow, and, you know, happy, uh, we're on the way to spring. Happy leap day, everyone. Yep. I was going to say it's March Madness, but, you know, we got a leap year to go through, so. Bristol right now hanging in there against the undefeated top-ranked Massasoit Community College. Rivera's dribbling a lot, but she got a she got Warriors. Have a plan. James driving to the hole, no foul. You got to be kidding me wow. with that. Going back the other way, easy layup. Oh, missed. See where was the, the rest Warriors? Of the Bayhawks going to take. Oh, now you're going to call a foul. Yeah. Matea Young going to go to the line. Bristol's not getting any calls. Oh. They're driving to the paint. It looks like there's some contact down there, but Bristol not getting any calls going their way. Yeah, no, uh, this is um, very un unfair for the Bayhawks so far this game. I mean, they're playing in Massasoit undefeated. Mode who's undefeated in their home court. I mean, the ref's not helping them. It's not, it's just another challenge for them. Massasoit, the number two ranked team in the country, not shooting well. Bristol got to get to the loose balls. You're, yeah. giving the, you're giving the Warriors way too many chances. When they just missed that before the free throw, only saw Rivera down there, then Chopper, Chopper hurried, but it has to be a team effort. Here's Hawkins with the basketball. Again, Massasoit forced to shoot deep into the shot clock. Around the perimeter, Hawkins, a three-pointer. Air ball, rebounded by Chopper. Bristol needs a good possession here. They need points. Here's Chopper. Oh, come on, guys. Losing it. Here's Chopper. Chopper going up. The floater. Wow. On off, they call it offensive on Abby, Chop on Abby Chopper? I swear, every time Bristol goes to the hole, they're not getting any calls. And Coach Hanley knows it. He's not happy with the ref right now. Yeah, and it's, it's not like Bristol has many three-point shooters. It's not like they, they have to go to the inside. So this but might the, be a problem. Here's Shadaja Collins. 
for Young. Again, Bristol. Bristol been playing good defense. Warriors haven't been shooting well. Here's Hawkins. Hawkins looking to drive. Three-pointer in the corner by Young. No good. Getting in there. Good rebound there by Marshall. There you go, Marshall. That's good good job need. to get in good position. See, see, Rivera, Rivera. Had early. Rivera kicks it back out. Abby Chopper for three. Going to be yeah. way off the mark. Rebounded by Young. Young looking to push. Nice baseball pass up to Hawkins, who will lay it in easy. Nice pass there. Nice pass there by Matea Young. Oh, that was good hustle there by Marshall. I'm sorry, Adriana Grant. Oh, nice, nice job, job there by Rivera. That was a good job by uh, Hurley to keep a, give, create a lane. Yeah, Hurley created a nice lane there. Nice pass there by Hawkins inside. There you go. Push. Frazier couldn't connect. Here's James. James Push looking it. to go to the basket. Puts it up. Oh, come on. Wow. This is. This has become comical. Yes. This has really become comical. Every time Katera James goes to the basket, don't worry about it, Katera. Every time she goes to the basket, the call is on the Warrior. How many fouls? Let's see, is it 11 fouls for? How many fouls? 10 on the game clock. Wow, time flies. First quarter, about to come to a finish, going to the hole, putting it up off the glass and in. <laughs> Kissing it off the glass is Adriana Grant, 19 to 11. This game shouldn't be this far. Bristol should have no, way more points. No, Bristol, Bristol deserves much better. At the end of the first quarter, 19-11. The Bayhawks trail by eight against the Massasoit Community College Warriors. Stay tuned for a second quarter action right up next. All right, welcome back, everybody, to Peter ACF Fieldhouse here in Brockton, Massachusetts, here at Massasoit Community College. Basco Massasoit Community College, if you look at all the banners, it looks like the Boston Garden here. you got <laughs> banners from all kinds of sports, soccer, baseball. Baseball, I know they've had a good program for years. Um, also, well, they got a nice basketball. Massasoit Community College. The men have been to the have been to the nationals here in the last couple of years. You They've won the regionals. I think they have pretty much all all the sports on here: softball, volleyball, golf. I mean, yeah, they won it all. Like I said, it looks like the it looks like the Boston Garden, especially with all the green banners. Mm -hmm. They have a huge uh, championship history, championship lineage, and Bristol Community College trying to come in and do the unthinkable. They trail by eight. They're doing they're doing good offensively. Like I said, they're they're not, they're not playing. Yeah, they're, they're not. Well, they're not playing within themselves. They're going, you know, they're um, they're going helter skelter. They're not setting up plays. They're turning the ball over. The referees haven't helped with some of these calls, no. but oh, nice pass there, there to Hurley. There That's you go. You Good job by Bristol. Nice pass there by Tia Rivera. That's what you want from Rivera. Keep your head up. Let's we'll see if Bristol can chip away at this lead. A lot of time left to go here. We're just getting underway here in the second quarter. I'm David Cardoza. Alongside me is Megan Holden. There you go. <laughs> don't forget your. Don't forget. Everyone oh, got they get inside. Fall away jumper by Hawkins. Can't get it to fall. There you go, good Marshall. job by Marshall. She's gotten a couple good rebounds there. Katera James. We need it early in the game. They got rebounded. James for three up top. Nailed there it. There you go. KJ for three. Money. Katera James. One point. One score game now. Well, there is a god. <laughs> Katera James for three. It's a three point lead here. I guess the number two ranked team of the country, Bristol right there. And I thought they played better in the first, oh, first quarter. Be, Got to be aggressive. They swing it into the corner. Hawkins dumps it in. Come on, Hurley. Bell going up against Hurley. Good job by Hurley to get a piece of it using her body. You got to push. James. Got to go attack. James to the rack. There you go. Bristol within one. Nice drive there by Katara James. Don't call it a comeback. 19-18. <laughs> We're just getting underway again here in the second quarter. This is what this is what Haley wants to see from this team right here. This is the opening game of a day full of tournament basketball. Come on, All they were lackluster well, there. What's your hit? Marshall got hit on the lip. Yeah, but Marshall, she should have boxed out better. Yeah, well, yeah Rivera. Eliza Bell. Yeah. Oh, she this blood. Rivera, Rivera, and uh, Hurley was caught watching the ball there. Yeah, they they were caught watching the ball. They were not they were not looking to uh, get their body on somebody and and block out. I think they were assuming that that. Rebound was going to fall into their hands. Yeah. But Bristol right there, 21-18. to 18. If you're Coach Jay Hanley, this is all you can ask for right yes. now. Yes, but also, I mean, you were just going on a good – you just had momentum, and, you know, you didn't want to see that. So, kind of no. like play this place. Bristol tomorrow. gets that rebound. James at the free throw line. Puts it up. No good. Tipped. There you right go. there, James sticking with it. Goes up and under. Ooh. Can't get it to fall. Boy, Bristol's had their chances. Going back the other way is Adriana Grant. 
Green around the back. Dribbles and bibbles. Short jump. The jumper is no good. There you go, Chopper. Rebounded by Chopper. You had James. Oh, Chopper. Up to James. Uh, you did. Wait, oh, that's a long. foul. Yeah. Wow, they called a foul on the Warriors. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Someone take a picture. Is he? Are you feeling okay, buddy? <laughs> yeah, not, that was – was that clear path? No. I know they missed James <laughs> a little bit. They missed – James could have had it easily. It was a couple seconds sooner. Well, she threw that. I mean, Chopper threw that rainbow in the traffic, yeah. so. You got to keep the head up. Get inbound. Here's Rivera. Rivera with the floater. I don't know what that was about. Yeah, too short. Going back the other way. Hawkins gets it to the paint, puts it up. Oh, can't James get it to up. fall. James. James looking to push. Again, Bristol, slow the game down. Here's Chopper. Chopper looking come to drive. On. Think of the best offense. Come to the ball. You got to come to the ball. They're 17 on the shot clock. They're passing a little too hard. There you go, James. Ooh. Nice. Oh, it's like a pass to Rivera. No foul. Hurley is there. there Gets it go. to go. Hurley with the offensive rebound. Puts it up and in 21-20. All right, now defensively, you need to stop here. And you got to rebound. All right, here's Grant. Again, Bristol in 2-3 zone. They swing it. Matea Young. Hurley. Hurley. Abby Hurley's got to get in front of that. What was that? As, that Matea, was... as Matea Young goes to the basket. Hurley's going to get her body in front of her. That was so weak. Just putting a hand up. James from the elbow with the... Timeout there. Warriors are going to call a timeout. We're going to call a timeout here on FRC Media. 23-20. to 20, Bristol hanging in there against the number two ranked team in the country. And we'll take a break here. We'll be right back right after this. I always knew I wanted to go to college. I just didn't know how or when. Bristol gave me the flexibility to balance work, family life, and the things I love to do. I was able to transfer and get a bachelor's degree in the field I am passionate about. Bristol helped me so I can help others. Working as a mentor and a coach, I know I'm making a difference. And I'm able to show my kids and others the value of a college education. It's never too late. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Peter ACF Fieldhouse and JCAA Basketball. Region 21, tournament basketball all day long here at the Peter SCF Fieldhouse in Brockton, Massachusetts. Nice campus. Bristol. Uh, great, great fieldhouse, Warriors with a lot of championship tradition here, as you can see all the banners. This is the opening game of a day long of full of basketball here on Leap, Leap Day, Leap Year. Bristol hanging in there, Megan. Yes, and... Uh, they just take advantage of the Bay uh, um, Massasoit's shooting struggles. They can get, they can, uh, they can possibly win this. Swinging it to the corner. Bristol going to collapse, going to the rack. Oh, and miss, Bell misses the drive. Oh, man. oh and then you got, you got to, you got to limit those. Shadaja Collins. I want to see gets more. Gets the rebound, 25-20. I need to see more fight in Hurley. So this is kind of like allowing. Yeah, I think they're going to call up. No, they're going to. All right. So it's going to. Foul's going to be on Shadaja Collins. That's going to be her second. Shadaja Collins with the uh, reach-in foul. I thought they were almost going to call a um, a carry. Well, we have, Bayhawks haven't been Marshall. Getting Marshall gets it into Rivera. Get it in. You can get it into Abby Hurley. Oh, nice pass there. Marshall, good, nice fake there. Goes to the oh, basket. Hurley much. is there. Yeah, Gets it to go. Abby Hurley with the cleanup. She's been cleaning up on the board. Just defensively, I want to see more energy. Better job by Hurley there. Oh, gets it to the paint. She had her hands up. Oh, wow. You, there's not no much better defense than you can get than that. Oh, she got in front of her. That's all you can ask. And now going to make Hawkins earn it from the free throw line. Well, Hawkins, uh, over 30 point. Uh, score for this game. And uh, she's a 74, almost 75% uh, free throw shooter. So maybe. And she makes the first free throw there. 26 22. Got to give all the credit in the world for Bristol for hanging in there. I think a lot of people were predicting that this would be a a blowout, but Bristol within five. Bristol with all odds. With five, them. yeah, with 555 to play. Here's Chopper. Oh, gets there it to Katerra James. Oh, uh, are they going to say, what? They're going to say out of bounds? And James, must have, she must have stepped out of bounds. 
Yeah, all odds against Bayhawks tough, right Tough now. turnovers by Bristol. Stepping out of bounds, you know. Got to be careful not to get technical. 27-22. Bristol doing a good job of closing up the lanes. Going to the rack. Young can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Hurley. There you go. That's why I want to see Hurley. Now push it. Rivera's got the numbers. Here's Rivera, nice Davis. pass. Oh. James, oh, James gets it blocked there by Grant. That was a nice. But I thought that was a good job by Rivera to kind of pause a little bit. And look for the shooter. I mean, and um, and look for and look for James, but that was just a great, great defensive play by Grant. Yeah, it was. She came in. And and she came out of nowhere. That was a good block. Marshall finds Rivera at the top. Rivera goes to the lane, puts it up, can't get it to fall. Loose ball coming away with it is Matea Young. Young pushing ball. You get a slide your feet, Chopper. Easy basket there by Young. Bayhawks looks like they're the energy. The energy's not right there no more. They're, they're pretty gassed. You don't want to see that. Gonna right be now. A, that's going to be a turnover. It's going to be the Warriors basketball. You know, I know we talk about Bayhawks have a small team, but Massachusetts doesn't have a big team either. And they, 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 don't, they don't look too much gas. Bayhawks, a little gas right now with some players. I think it's just tech, yeah, and sometimes when you're gas, you lose, you start losing your technique. Mm -hmm. All right, Bristol back in zone. 2-3 zone for Bristol. They'll dump it in to Young. There you go, Rivera. Good job by Rivera. That's the heart. And they're going to call a jump ball, and it's going to be in the favor of the Bayhawks. I'm happy they do the favorite thing, because I don't know if Rivera would have got that jump ball. <laughs> this oh, <is> well, yeah. <laughs> All right. Massasoya matching up. Match it up man to man. Well, uh, Coach Hanley said he's uh, playing their speed. Hawkins all over Rivera. Oh, she's a good defender. James falls away. She got hit there oh, on her hand. Hurley got to look for the basketball. Going back the other way. Going back the other way is Collins. And they're going to call a foul on Marshall. And let's see if she's going to be going to the line. Yeah, I see. This... We don't want you don't want to have this game get away from you. You gotta just play smart within yourself. Keep your yeah. hands up. And, and it looked like Bristol, who fell down by, if you remember, they fell down by six or seven. No, they, they fell down in 1911 at the end of the first quarter. Fought themselves right back into it. But they had more energy. Right now they they seem a little gassed. Well, what I'm saying players. is they had a chance. They they fought themselves mm -hmm. back into it. It looked like it was going to get away from them there. Yes. And now they let it. Slip away a little bit right here at 29 22. Yeah, they're very capable of Second getting back. Second free throw was made by Collins. They're very capable of getting back into this. They just have to make the right plays. Here's James. James looking to drive. James goes to the basket. Oh. And they're going to call a foul. There you go, James. Oh, not shooting? Okay. They're going to call a foul on Adriana Grant. That's her third. Thought that Warriors starting to creep into foul trouble. Thought that might have been a shooting foul, but. Guess I'm wrong. And Adriana Grant. She'll step out. Marshall looking inbound. Hurley kicks it back out to Rivera. Pass it behind Dago. Here's James. James being guarded very well by Frazier. Going, going to the rack is James. Oh, gets it blocked. No foul call. Still no foul call. Going to the basket. Nice pass there. Collins to Hawkins, that's a good tandem. And now the Warriors are starting to pull away 32 to 22. Yeah, they didn't, I don't know where they were defensively there. No one really got back. They'll dump it into Hurley. There you go. Marshall's there. Uh, you're gonna make it, you're gonna make the most of your opportunities. Collins. Collins looking to push. Goes to the oh, nice kick there to the corner. Young. They oh come on, Throws it into traffic. Loose ball on the floor. And this time it's going to stay in the favor of Massasoya. I don't know what's going on with the Bayhawks hand. It's slipping, slipping the ball from their fingers and a little too, too hard on the round of the rim. Maybe nerves or? I don't know. I think, I, think they're past, I think they're past the nerves. I think they're, they're just going too fast offensively. Yes. The floater on the lane by Collins is no good. Bayhawks. Rebounded by Hurley. Push. Here's James. James got the numbers. James, going to the rack. Oh, no foul? Wow. What else do you want? Like, I think, like, they can just push 
Uh, I don't even know what to say. Down. I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. They can push James down and it still won't be a foul. Wow. All right. It will stay Bayhawks basketball. Here's Hurley. Hurley got to use a body. Hurley. And they're going to call a travel. Got to put the ball to the floor. Got to use your shoulder. Abby Hurley doing a whole pirouette there. <laughs> 32 to 22. Bristol down by 10. In danger of... Letting this game slip yeah, away. Yeah, letting this game fall away from the wayside. Got to get back to defense and just crane on fast yeah. breaks. Warriors are slowing the game down now. 13 on the shot clock. Coming up on the three-minute mark here in the half. Driving to the basket, losing it, and they're gonna call a double dribble. Go. They're gonna call a travel on Hawkins. Bristol needs, Bristol needs to make a couple shots. They need yep. to change, they need to cut this lead to within six before the end of the first half here. Just take advantage of uh, of Warriors shooting woes. Here's Chopper. Chopper goes to the lane, puts it up, can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Hurley. Hurley puts it up. There you go. And she gets can't get it to fall, but she'll go to the line for two. Now Harley got to make both free throws. She got to improve her free throws. You cut this lead to within six before the end of the first half. If you're coach Jay Hanley, you got to feel good about that. Yes. I mean, this is what we kind of saw in a game they played previous season. They played him close in the beginning, and the game just got away from him there in the second half. So let's see if uh, they can make any changes coming off the half here after two minutes and 50, 55 seconds left to play. Hanley. Abby Hurley misses both free throws. Coach of the Warriors, Coach Mark Lesick, will call a timeout. We're going to call a timeout here, here on FRC Media. Bayhawks down by 10, 32 22. We'll be right back here on FRC Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. I always knew I wanted to go to college. I just didn't know how or when. Bristol gave me the flexibility to balance work, family life, and the things I love to do. I was able to transfer and get a bachelor's degree in the field I am passionate about. Bristol helped me so I can help others. Working as a mentor and a coach, I know I'm making a difference. And I'm able to show my kids and others the value of a college education. It's never too late. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. Welcome back everybody. 32 to 22. Bayhawks basketball here on FRC Media. Region 21, NJCAA semifinal. Yes, we're in the postseason. Want to welcome in our, our audience. This is where you want to be. It is a great turnaround for the Bayhawks. Last year, they only, I think, had one win. It was due to forfeit. So come into the tournament, and they should just be proud of this season. Well, I mean, they're right in this game. Driving to the holes. Was Hawkins kicks it back up to Collins, who drains it. Yeah, you nice drive and dish there by Hawkins. You can't put Rivera on her. That's the top scorer. You got to put James on her. James sets a pick. Rivera going in. Oh, gets it blocked. Gets it blocked away there by Frazier. Collins, nice dish there inside. Loose basketball. This should be Bayhawks basketball, and it will be. That was a great job by. Uh, by James, using a burst to get inside, realizing there was open man there. Here's Rivera. Bayhawks, gotta, you got to slow the game now. 34-22. Well, they got to have a plan offensively. James goes up. Nice pass in there to Hurley, and she'll get the foul. So the Bayhawks are getting those fouls. It seems like Katera James is getting no calls, and that's going to be that's gonna be a little bit... Um, Frustrating too for the Bayhawks that knowing that they're taking the ball to the rack, they're getting contact, and the referees aren't blowing their whistle. That's got to be a such a debilitating, such a frustrate, such a frustration, well, an aggravation, everything. Like it must be, just feel like you can do nothing because yeah. you're you're getting to the hole. You know you get you're getting some good looks. Yeah, well they also don't. I mean, first end, front end of a one on one missed by Hurley. Collins kicks it to the corner. Driving baseline is Hawkins over Hurley. And they're going to call a foul, I believe, maybe on Rivera. I don't see, really see it there, but OK. Um, Hurley, yeah, Hurley's not the one you want going to the free throw line either. She's only shooting 50% from the free throw line. They need the foul on James. 
for shooting. Right now, the 80, almost 80, or well, 84%. Right now, the Warriors are in the bonus, so they'll be shooting two free throws from here on out. First free throw was missed there by Hawkins. Bristol's been, Bristol was in this one halfway through this second quarter. I mean, they trailed by one, 21 to 20. They just have 13 to four run, and there's a foul there. Foul's gonna be on Frazier. And that's gonna be the Warriors 14 foul, minute 58 to play here in the half. The refs are blowing up a whistle a little bit more here. Katera James gonna knock this, gonna knock these down, try to get this to within 10. Keep it within striking distance if you're Bristol. Yes. There you go. I mean, it's, he's been the only really source of scoring. They also got to find a second, second player there. Like you said, someone else got to step up, and Katera James calmly sinks both free throws, pulls the Bayhawks within 10. Again, the Warriors aren't shooting the lights out. They're not setting the world on fire. Nice pass on a knee. Collins with a heck of, That would have been a heck of a shot if it fell. James around the back. Got that from Rivera. James going to assert herself. Going to make it her game. Oh, knocked away. Got to get back on defense. Going back the other way. Is oh, that's a carry. Oh, man. You got to call that. You got to call that. Carried it all the way to the basket like it was a luggage. Katera James goes to the rack, puts it up, oh, can't get it to fall. That roll. She just haven't been able to get that roll tonight. These referees are awful. Yeah, They're I'm, awful, awful, awful. Well, they can hear it from the, uh, from the fans and Marshall. the coaches. Inbound pass stolen, and Bristol looked like they just gave up on this play. And an easy layup by Young. And that's not the way that you want to end the first half. 38 to 24. Too many, uh, too many turnovers for Bayhawks. Got it. And Coach Jay Hanley gonna need call a much needed timeout. And it's a shame because I thought Bristol came out guns a blazing. I thought they came out with aggressive defense. Thought they came out very spirited, very energized, Megan. They were making and Warriors fight for it. Yeah, and the Warriors weren't making shots. The Warriors weren't setting the world on fire. They're still not. They, um, they're capitalizing on a lot of mistakes that turnovers from Bristol, um, bad, bad calls by the referee, non-calls by the referees. You know, it's a combination. And Bristol, not getting anything go Bristol not getting anything going offensively yes. either. And they lost, the, they lost the end defensively a little bit too. They're, they're not as tough as they were in the beginning of the, of the half here. And they're just right now, you can see a couple fast breaks. They're not really getting back to the basket. There's a lot of easy layups there for, uh, for Massasoya. Yeah, well, you can see, I mean, you can see by the in their body language and the looks on their faces that they are just, you know, kind of, kind of, well, not just that, just kind of down in the dumps right now. They've had their shots. I mean, they're, they're going to the rack. They're not getting, they're not getting foul calls. I mean, um, well, this we this Matea team. Young on the last layup, on the last, um, the second before last possession, she had a car. I mean, she was in the open court, clearly carried the ball. Mm -hmm. Bayhawks not getting any key calls going their way. And being being at uh, their home court, undefeated team, it's not what they need. James trying to get something going to the basket. Still no foul call. Oh, my gosh. James underneath. What does she need to do? They can just tie her hands up and it won't be nothing. I mean... I can't see what's going on down there. You can't tell me that not one of these times she hasn't been fouled. No. I mean, you got to be kidding me. Well, her hand's been hit twice. Marshall looking inbound to get into the chopper. Chopper there puts it up. Can't get it to fall. Going. Collins. Oh, I thought she might have stepped. Collins in the corner. Jumper's no good. Rebounded by Bell, who kicks it back up to Young, and she'll travel. Yeah, see, the Bayhawks need to take advantage of uh, of the Warriors' uh, mishaps on offense. They just have to find a second option besides uh, Kutir James because she's not getting no foul calls. Here's Rivera. Walks the ball up the court, being guarded closely by Shredeja Collins. Rivera almost lost it there. Nice pass underneath, but Marshall couldn't hold on to it. It's Going back the other way. Into the paint, puts it up, and gets the roll. Adriana Grant. 
And now the Warriors are starting to show why they're the number two team in the country. Yeah, they James into the paint, and wow, she gets a foul call. Wow. <laughs> You can't tell me that wasn't any different from any other drive to the basket where she got contact. It's a good thing we can be recording this. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say was, uh, yeah, they need a second option here. I know that Rivera is having a hard time because of the size. She's not really able to get inside. Um, they need Hurley to just, to just be more aggressive. Well, Katara James, she's taking the ball to the basket. Yes, but they're not getting no calls. I mean, she needs someone besides her, you know. She also has a little bit of lack of size where if they put her hands up, it's hard to, for her to get over. But she's been fearless. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's been the best player, easily. Crystal going to come up. Need to stop here. Seven on the game clock. Going to the basket. Nice dish there by Collins. Going to the basket. And they're going to call a foul with the body. Oh, no. And let's see who they call that on. Probably Hurley. But Hurley had her hands up there. It was outside of restricted yeah, they're gonna, area. Yeah, they're going to call it on Hurley. Yeah, but she used her body. And uh, definitely didn't have position. That's going to be her second foul. And at the line right now is Eliza Bell, the freshman. Five foot ten from New London, Connecticut. This, this game is turning to a free throw game here. And like you here. said, the Warriors have a very short bench as well. Yes. But all very talented, all very athletic, all very interchangeable. Let's see if Bristol can get a shot off. Chopper. And Bristol won't get a shot, shot off. And a shame for Bristol because they, they came out. They hung in this game. They were within... Within one? They were within one point. It was 21 to 20 at, at one point. But from that point on, from 21 to 20, Megan, mm -hmm. 21 to 5 run that the uh, Warriors finished the half on. Okay, so it's halftime here at Peter ACF Fieldhouse. All right, so that's going to be it for the first half. We'll stay tuned for a second half action. It is halftime here in the New England uh, Region 21 and JCAA semifinal. David Cardoza and Megan Holden on the call. We'll take a break here, and we'll come back with second half action from Brockton, Massachusetts at Massasoit Community College. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody, to Peter ACF Fieldhouse here in Brockton, Massachusetts. Here at Massasoit Community College, David Cardoza and Megan Holden. At the half, 42-26, Megan. Bristol was hanging in there right to, right to halfway through the first half, um, or halfway through the second quarter, rather. And um, Bristol was within one point. I mean, they got within one point, 21 to 20. And um, since then, Massasoit with a 21 to 5, or I'm sorry, a 20, yeah, 21 to 6 run end in the half real, you know, uh, real strong. And Bristol looks, like you said, looks worn out, looks a little bit defeated because they haven't been getting the calls at the rim. We'll see if they can turn it around. And who are some of our leading scorers here at the half? Well, Kadir James, he, despite not getting much calls, he's doing, trying to do everything offensively for the Bayhawks, scoring 16 points. And Hurley doing a uh, cleanup around the rim with seven points. And for the Massasoit Warriors, Young, 13 points. And Hawkins with 12, the usual suspects with big leaning. And Kadir James, despite not getting some calls at the rim, you know, despite, you know, a few turnovers and, like I said, just not getting the calls at the rim. She's um, their leading scorer as always. Abby Hurley got to be able to do a better job defensively. I know she's had a, you know, a few rebounds, some putbacks, has gone to the free throw line. But in the second half, she's got to use her frame. She's got to use her tall frame. You know, she's got to be able to use her body and um, on defense just and um, you know, stop using that matador type defense. You got to get, you got to use your body. You got to get in front. And you gotta, you know, gotta be able to be better defensively. You gotta slide your feet, use your feet. Consistently. You know, not just your hands. Mm -hmm. And this second half is underway. Driving to the basket. Oh, now kicking it back out. Bristol, let's see if they can come back out with that energy that they did in the first half and try to cut into this lead. Going to the rack is Collins. Can't get it to fall. And there's a travel. There All go. right. Bristol gets a call here. That's how you wanna <laughs> that's how you wanna start okay. off. It's nice to see to start off here the second half. All yeah, right, here's Rivera. I thought Bristol came out good in the first half. We talked about Cardoza's keys. Limiting, there's Chopper. They take away baseline, and there's a turnover. Yeah. Chopper wanted the call, can't get it. Going back the other way is Matea Young. Matea Young driving and dishing. And Collins with the open lane. And they're going to call. Where's the foul? I don't know. It's just... 
See the bay. She had an open lane. Yes. There was nobody around her. Where was the foul? Oh no. Maybe there's a maybe there's an invisible player that we don't see somewhere. See, all I know is this is the Bayhawks gotta take advantage of obviously not getting no calls defensively. They gotta just make the right plays offensively. Uh, that wasn't a great pass by uh, there by Chopper. They gotta move around and start creating some uh, easy easy offense. Yeah, on offense, I feel like they're throwing a lot of balls in the traffic. They're making making just bad, bad turnovers, so they're not doing themselves any favors. Chopper gets the rebound. Both free throws missed. Bristol oh. needs a basket. Long yeah. pass, Chopper. James is there to there put it go. off the glass. And boy, Chopper got away with one there. And James with the basket. Bristol on the board first here in the second half. 18 points for James. And she's going to need a big second half, and Bristol's going to have a chance here. Bell, miss. Well, that's with the ref's letter. Here comes Rivera. Rivera, nobody running with her. Rivera, nice little stop there and go. go. Puts it up oh. the glass. Oh, James is there. And she gets the foul. What do you know? Maybe we can get some calls here yeah. for the Bayhawks. But good job by James to stick her nose in there, get the rebound, have the wherewithal to go up with the reverse attempt, that reverse a, layup attempt, and she's going to the line. But let's not forget what started that. That was a nice uh, little step there by Rivera, getting some space. She needed to see, she needed to see open space this game. She hasn't really she's been, uh, like, this been, they've just been having people on her, and she just couldn't find no open lanes in the first half. So it was nice to see, uh, see her get some space. She just got to knock it down. Bristol within 13. Let's see if they can. Now here comes the trap. This is what I talked about before, and the Cardos is keys of the game. Get to have a little bit of aggression here. Take a couple chances. And I think we're going to have a foul away from the ball. Let's see who it goes on. I think it's on. They're going to call it on Abby Chopper. That's going to be your second. Well, uh, beginning of the game, they were dub double teaming almost every player. Yeah, you got to attack. You got to get the ball. You got to get. Try to cause some turnovers. Hurley going to step up and defend that. Yeah, and that score there by Bell. 44-29. It's a mismatch problem there. Bristol doing a better job moving the ball. Chopper goes to the lane. Yeah. See, uh, they got to look. When they drive to the basket, they, look, they have to look around them because there's some players that are open. But. Chopper clearly, there was clearly contact yes. on that. On that play. But we know we know by now the refs are not they're calling it hard on the Bayhawks. Not giving them nothing easy. Marshall looking inbound. Chopper for three. Up oh, the glass wow. and in. Chopper says, take that. You're not gonna call the foul? I'll get You're three. not gonna send me to the line. I'll get three. I'll knock it down. 44-32. Going to the rack. Young. Young got some contact there. Yeah, that was impressive. And she still puts it up and in. Rivera. Chopper. Chopper stops and pops. A foul. And they call a foul. So he might be the player that steps up. I know they need a second player besides James. So they're not just double teaming James, but Chopper here. Uh, well, Abby Chopper, attacks. Abby Chopper was the um, was the lead scorer in her high school. Yeah. I mean, she's in a thousand thousand point score, Abby Chopper. Well, we saw her. We saw some uh, some spurts in the during the season. So you can have a good offensive game. So you just have to get more comfortable in the offense. And when she gets, uh, when she gets, uh, yeah, we've she clearly, gets going, we've she clearly seen the evolution of Abby Chopper, and she can make those shots. She didn't call the, um, she didn't call glass on that, no, but she still, didn't. when you counting. when you see a shot like that go down, kind of you know builds your confidence, yeah. gives you some momentum. And she does have range. We've seen her miss. we see her. She's got that high arcing yeah. shot, misses both free throws. Would have loved to have seen her make both of those. Hawkins with a little stutter step gets into the lane, and they're gonna call a travel. Oh, nice. They call, child, they call travel on Ty Hawkins, the leading scorer for the Massasoit Community College Warriors, one of the top leading scorers in the country for the number two team in the country. The Bayhawks got to just chip away here. Got it, exactly. Cut it, chip it away. James with a fake. Good defense here by the Warriors. See that? Uh, I don't, was that a shot? I yeah, don't know. I think so. Frazier, Frazier leading the break. Driving to the hole is Young. Puts it up off the glass. Can't get it to fall. Sticks with it. No. Loose ball, and Frazier's there to clean, up, clean it up. Come on, you got to get your hands in there. Keep your eyes open. James gets it to Hurley. Hurley works her way in there. Too that strong. shot way off the mark. Yeah. Way too strong. They're forcing things a little bit. Hawkins driving on Chopper. Gets the foul. Goes to the line. Falls to the... Falls to the floor, will go to the line, I should say. Well, she's the Warriors' leading scorer with over 30 something point, 31 points. 
And you see why right there. A nice little, nice body little hesitation and just had a little burst to get by Chopper and lay it in. And Ty Hawkins slowly but surely getting up there on the scoreboard. 18-point lead now for the Warriors. Their largest of the game, 19-point lead. Their largest lead of the game, 51-32. Yeah, you Not looking good for Bristol right now. Keep chipping away. Just make the right play every possession. I don't know about and this. They're getting a whistle happy here. Well, they call a foul. The foul's going to be on Ty Hawkins. That's going to be her second. Both teams with three team fouls here on the early going. Still have 6.45 to play here in the first, I mean the third quarter, I'm sorry. James, going what? into yeah, traffic. Go. Yeah. What? She didn't really brick wall. She really got, are you serious? And they're going to call a foul on Abby Hurley away from the ball. But not on, okay, whatever. It was. All right, going up. Hawkins off the side of the backboard. Hurley with the rebound. Abby Chopper. Up to James. James going to the rack, puts it up off the glass and in. And one. And wow. If they had to call that offensive, yeah. I, I would I would have <laughs> I would have leaped over this ledge. <laughs> well, Katia James was <laughs> I would have jumped over this ledge, man. I'm telling you. I think Katia James went off. So she was she was uh she was ready for it after that missed call from them last possession. Wow. But tell she decided I was preparing. I was actually preparing myself for that to be called the other way. But anyway, <laughs> James with a good job getting the contact. She'll go to the line. She made the shot and sinks the free throw. So Bristol within 16. She's in, a, she's in a 20, 21 points, I believe. I got to give it to Katero James. She's not letting this phase, you know, oh. she's really not letting it affect her game. She's still she's still um, pounding away at it. She's still going at it. She's still relentless, still going to the basket, still playing hard. She's proven she belongs here. She oh, be she does belong here. Yes. She's one she of the best players in NJCAA Region 21 for sure. Well, yes, I'm just like saying that her nerves are not getting to her. Driving to the basket, Grant. And they're going to call an offensive foul. A couple of makeup calls here. <laughs> oh, we got to give them a couple. Got to make it look honest. We'll see at the end of the game, right? <laughs> Clearly, there's going to be an investigation after this game. Right? Clearly. Abby Chopper with the basketball. <laughs> oh, boy. Driving to the lane. Oh, James with a nice drive. Just couldn't get it to connect. Loose ball. Got to get after it. Here's Shadesha Collins. Collins driving all the way to the basket. Nice, oh. nice sneaky dish there. Nice, nice drive and sneaky dish there by Collins to Renasha, Renasha Frazier. See, for the Bayhawks, you had four players, you had four players on one person. James, cross court. Somehow gets there to Chopper. Chopper with the floater. Can't get it to fall. Bristol can't buy buckets. God. Collins go back the other way. Rivera trying to get back. Nice move there by Collins in the open court. Rivera with Rivera the Rivera now looking to push. Rivera doesn't have the numbers. Kicks it back out to Chopper. Chopper. Uh, so you oh, got to have better control. Somebody get a, I thought somebody got a piece of that there. So come on, you got you to hurry back on defense, Chopper. Turnaround jumper by Grant. No good. I like to see Rivera. I like to see where attack the basketball. Oh, Good nice shot. Rivera. Chopper puts there it up go. and in with the left. Good court awareness, good court vision there by Rivera. That's a nice pass, too, to Chopper. Yeah, Chopper needs to see one go down after a couple misses. Maybe get her confidence back up. Well, she's definitely, she's definitely still being aggressive. 53 37. Bristol needs to cut, to within, cut this lead to within 10 or 12 by the end of this third quarter to have a shot. Young, Young will get the contact. That was a little weak. That was a weak call. Yeah, Abby Marshall. Good thing we don't work for the NJCAA. Right. <laughs> for the final time, David Cardozo and Megan Holden. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is. Mar I mean, what what can you what else can you ask for Marshall there? Well, Bristol not showing any lack of effort. No. You know. I mean, they're definitely fighting for it. They know they're underdogs, but, you know. They've hung in there. Yes. They, you know, they traded blows. They're making Warriors fight for you know, it. Yeah. You've got to respect they, it. They've, they've thrown some blows at Massasoya. Mm -hmm. They hung in there. 
It wasn't like the it wasn't like the Fury Wilder fight last week. They've um they've hung in there. 54-37, 17 point lead. 4:29 to go. Yeah, Massoy is coming off of uh, last game was 100 to I think believe 40 something to Bunker Hill. Yeah, so. they've just been a great team. Yeah. Rivera kicks it to James. James. They've been all over James today. Rivera back to James in the corner. James. I thought there might have been some contact there, but James not getting anything easy. Bell has the open lane to the basket. Oh, oh that's going to be over the back. Yes. And they'll call they call over the back on Adriana Grant. You know what I don't like I just saw, though? I saw Hurley stop at half court and stop stepping back like the play was already over. You have to get back because this, because you, just in case you, they need you for the offensive board. They need you to get the rebounds. They need you to uh, box out. Don't just stop half halfway of the court and stop backing up just in case they get the ball. They need you down here under the boards. Yeah, that's for sure. But back the other way, both teams are in the double bonus now. So Rivera will go to the line. I want to see a T Rivera be more assertive. She's facilitating, I, th I think, a little bit too much. She's the third leading scorer on this team. Well, she tried earlier in the game, so it's tough on her because they, I mean, Warriors have such big, just have such great size, and it's just hard for her to get into the lane. Yeah, but now the Warriors are, I mean, they're expecting her to to facilitate, yeah. and they're laying off her a little bit, and they're they're expecting her to to pass the basketball. She makes both free throws there. Hopefully two free throws going down. She, she, can, she can make shots. Yes. She needs to. She's one of the better offensive players on this team all around. Yes. Cutting to the basket is Frazier. It gets it to an open Eliza, Eliza Bell. Probably got to keep our eyes on our man there. Good teamwork there by the Warriors. Here's Rivera. James driving to her left. Puts it up. Oh, oh that's, that's, that was all ball by Frazier. Nice block there. Bounce pass there by Hawkins. Underneath to Collins, who tried to throw it back to Young. That would have been an amazing play. Here's Rivera. Got to attack. Rivera puts it up. Yeah, just don't. Again. Just don't up Hail Marys. Yeah. And no, they're going to call a double dribble. Uh, and call a double dribble, 56 39. The Bayhawks got to take advantage here. You got to take advantage of uh, Warriors' mishaps on offense. Cause well, that and right now, you know, be aggressive. Take the ball to the basket. Take the ball to the basket. Both teams are in, are in foul trouble. Here's Marshall. Nice fake there. Puts yeah. it up. Ooh. See, I don't understand why they don't pass it to Hurley. I think Hurley's just tired. Going back the other way is Collins. Can't get it to fall. Warriors look tired, too. Oh, nice job by James to get through two defenders. Yeah, James. Oh, she got caught up. Yeah. She knows and it, too. Yeah. Marshall was there. She's telling Marshall was there wide open. Yeah. You, gotta keep, you just got to get your head up. See, the, it's, it's just the Bayhawks not, advantage, not taking advantage of uh, the Warriors' mistakes. All right, we're going we're gonna to take a timeout here. 56-39. to 39. The Massasoit Community College Warriors have a 17-point lead on the Bayhawks. We'll take a break right now. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back to Peter ACF Fieldhouse here in Brockton, Massachusetts. Been a tough on one. On a beautiful it. sunny day, a little cold sunny day here in this last day of February, leap year. Leap day. It's a happy uh, four or five years, four or five, we, people who were born on you, leap day. What do you do if, you're, if your birthday is on leap year? What do you do if you're born on February 29th? When do you celebrate your birthday? I would celebrate the day before, because why not? I would celebrate the day before, the day after. I would celebrate yeah. it all week. Right? Just like I normally do. <laughs> all right. They'll dump it inside to Frazier. See, that's what they wanted to see from Hurley right there. That was great defense. Well, Hurley does a good job putting her hands up, mm -hmm. but you get to slide your you get to slide your feet yes. too. You can't just let them go around you. The biggest thing is slide your feet, put your hands up, use your, you know, use your body. The biggest thing is also uh, consistency. You got to do that consistency. Yeah, you to put it all together. Bristol needs to get some points on the board. There's a jumper. Yeah. Oh, rebounded by James. Nice. Good job by James to get that rebound. We're going to say that was an assist. <laughs> <laughs> 2.15 to play here, third quarter. Bristol needs to force some turnovers. Around the back, going up in the lane. 
Young can't get it to fall. Now James has to take over. Great job by James, getting a rebound. James. And she's going to get the contact there. Oh. They're going to get the contact, going to get the foul by Collins, and now James. That's no, actually, no, it's going you know, to be on Hawkins, actually. It's going to be on Ty Hawkins, her third. That's who you want, the free throw line, if you're the Bayhawks. Over 80%. Come on, Bristol. If you're going to go out, go out swinging. Mm -hmm. There it is. Like I said, they, they should be very proud of this season. Yeah, 15 and 8. This is the best um, season in Bayhawks uh, women's basketball history. Both free throws made there by, by James. Close out this quarter strong. Now you get to come out. Now you get a trap. You get to attack. You get to attack on defense. Get some fast and take, breaks. You know, take some chances. Get some fast breaks. Some easy buckets. Yeah, get a couple easy buckets. End this quarter strong. We'll see if they can get it. They need stops now. Frazier catches at the free throw line, gets it underneath, uh, and that's exactly what you didn't want. That's exactly what you didn't want right there. Yeah. And now Bell will go to the line with a chance for, the free, for a three-point play Moss and put this game back up to 16. That's what you did. You didn't want that no, right there. No, Moss has stopped, stepped away a little bit too much there. For me. I know she's trying to help out with a double team. And the free throw was made, and the Warriors are up 16. Wow. Bristol cut it to within 13. That's a reasonable striking distance, you know, and uh, that I know it's a three-point play. It's just uh, starting to add up for the, for the Bayhawks. Good to hear James to Marshall. Here's Marshall over to Rivera. Cross-court pass to James. James thought about it. James driving into traffic, gets it blocked, stays with it, puts it up, no foul, no foul call, stays with it, off there the glass go. and in. Good job by KJ to stay with it. You don't give it to her, she just take it. Good job by KJ, boy, she is relentless. Free throw jumper is good by Tradesia Collins. 61-45, 16-point lead. Got a minute to play. James into the lane, puts it up, can't get it to go. Uh, she might have, she, I think Tara James rolled over her ankle a little bit. Jumper from the free throw line as Collins gets the bounce. And now Collins is starting to tack it on. And the Warriors are back up by 18. Tough one for the Bayhawks. Oh, oh intercepted. That's a, in football, we call that a pick six. Taking it the other way as Collins. You got to communicate Collins. There. Collins with the interception, looking like Richard Sherman <laughs> taking that taking that the other way, no. and now the Warriors have themselves a 20-point lead. Stephon Gilmore, you need the wrong quarterback. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Richard Sherman, of all people. 65-45, <laughs> 33-point-5, and that's a shame because Bristol was doing a good job of staying right in there, and now this, the Warriors faithful. It seems like any time they start getting going, you know, something just pushes the momentum yeah. right back to the Warriors' side. And, I mean, it's just, it's just hard. Now, 20 points, you got a 20-point uh, lead for the Warriors. And it's going to be hard for the Bayhawks to come back in this one here at the yeah, Warriors' home court. a little bit tough. Yeah. The momentum all in the Warriors' favor. I want to see. I Abby see. Chopper, that was, I mean. She has to get it going again. That's that's a bad pass. Yeah. I mean, but I mean, coming out of nowhere was Collins. Yes. Rivera, Rivera wasn't even looking at her. Rivera was like, "Wait, what's this happened?" But you know, you got to have communication. One of those, one of those games, 65-45. Yeah. But I mean, Katera James. I mean, she is really, really, has really shown me something. This is her last game, and she's going out fighting. She has not lacked any fight in this uh -huh. game. She is really. She is basically the Bayhawks player again, easily. I mean, yeah, <laughs> you, you can already you can already sew that up. But I mean, she has been like the blonde. I mean, she's only the blonde. she's the only person that can can create any offense right now. Yes, her teammates know it. She knows it, and she's doing everything she can. Blood, sweat, and tears. You know what this game is? She's put it all on the line today. You know, remember the Cleveland um, versus Golden State, where only LeBron was playing, and he, that was, that's the only play they had. You know, uh, when they lost Kevin Love yeah, and yeah, Kyrie, and Kyrie, yeah, that's this almost is, what it seems like. Yeah. You know, you don't want to discredit anybody else, but right now, I mean, her skill set. James for three, 
Thought that was going to look like look good from here. Can't get it to fall. Hawkins goes to the rack, strong, and now the Warriors. And now the Warriors are looking like the Warriors. See, yeah. so, yeah, I know that's that's a mismatch problem right there with uh, Hawkins and Rivera. She, Hawkins been able to have her way all night. Yeah, it's it's all a morning. it's a um, you know the Bayhawks hung in there early. We talked about it before. But at the end of the day, it's a 40-minute game, yeah. and we're still not at the end of the third quarter. And now the Warriors are starting to pull away and show why they're, you know, yeah. a national championship contender. Not just a Region 21 championship contender. They'll be playing in that final tomorrow, barring a, barring a, a major turn of events. Rivera, get a look up. Get a look up. Well, yeah, there you go. To Hurley at the buzzer. Yeah, that was close. That, you've that got to be in. kidding me. That was in. I was close, though. you got to be kidding me. That was clearly, that was clearly away. That was clearly, that was clearly in. They're not, they're not giving it? They're not giving it to them. Oh, they don't want to be talking about it. They're going to talk about it. Nope, they're going to say no. Man, we need, we need a, we need a replay. Only in, Jay. Man, but that, that was good with time to spare. Man, they just had to, I don't, maybe uh, she thought that was uh, the a Warriors player, but she had to look up earlier. But, I mean, we've been seeing this all game. The refs haven't been calling a great game. This is a tournament. This is where you have to have your best refs. And uh, I don't know where they, I think, they, I think they're from Foot Locker or something. <laughs> On that note, let's take a break <laughs> right now. End of the third quarter, 67 to 45. Bayhawks trail by 22. We'll be right back after this on FRC Media, your Bayhawks broadcasting network. All right. Welcome back to Peter ACF Fieldhouse here in Brockton, Massachusetts. NJCAA, sem NJCAA semifinal, David Cardoza and Megan Holden. Massasoit Community College, the Warriors up by 22. Bristol needs a major comeback, to say the least. I'm not sure if that was a shot. Maybe a pass to Hurley, but it goes off the backboard. Going back the other way and scoring it, Ty Hawkins and the Warriors looking like the Golden State Warriors right now of the past four or five years with Steph Curry. and. This is actually very ironic because, like, Golden State Warriors and then James on the other side, LeBron James, Katera James. Like, <laughs> this is very and ironic. And Katera James <laughs> trying to lift the whole team on her shoulders. And... Uh, Put it all on the line, exhibiting what a Bayhawk athlete is all about. And well, they show good, good fight. The, in the first obviously, season. Coach Jay Hanley in his first season has done a great job with this, with this, uh, with this program, and expect better things to come in the coming years. But honestly, look at Rivera. Rivera was open, can just cut to the basket there. Coach Jay Hanley going to call a timeout. Let's yeah. call a timeout here too. Seventy to forty-five. Okay, the uh, Massasoit Community College Warriors, second-ranked team of the country, showing why. We'll be right back here on FRC Media, your Bayhawks broadcasting network. All right, welcome back, everybody. 70 to 45. Bristol showing a lot of fight, despite showing a lot of fight, showing a lot of spirit, despite being on the road in a raucous, raucous environment against a top team in the nation. 70 to 45. I know. I know the scoreboard doesn't show, doesn't show it. But Bristol has really um, had some fight here today. They've had, you know, some unfortunate calls go their way. But they did. I mean, they did fight. I mean, at, at the half, um, what was it? A 15 point lead, 14 point lead. Yeah. You know, they they were hanging in there. Obviously, they were down by one. At one point, down by one in the second quarter. But um, right now, Warriors just the better team right now. Rivera. Rivera gets it to Hurley. Nice pass there. there. And let's see if the let's see if the Bayhawks can just slowly chip away at this lead. And well, we got over nine minutes to play here. Yeah, let's see if see if they can win the fourth quarter, so to speak. Seventy to forty-seven. Go with a bang. I yeah. mean, they've been tough mentally, mentally all season. Yeah. That's how they got. That's how they got here. They just don't give up. They have grit. Oh, Warriors fell asleep on that one. 
That was supposed to be, that was the only shot. Yeah. But Warriors fell asleep on that one. You got to take advantage here. And now Bristol, Bristol gets, gets the basketball. Marshall, need to get that in. Cutting Rivera back to Marshall. Go. Nice heads up play there. there Hurley there gets it go, to Hurley. go. Abby Hurley. She's in double digits. Well, Abby Hurley just had a four-point swing right there. If you're Bristol, you get to keep fighting to the end. Down by 21. I know it seems insurmountable. Nine minutes to go, though. And now, right now, Warriors know that they don't have to, you know, they don't have to do much. They can hold on to the ball. Five seconds on the shot clock. Turnaround jumper way off the mark. It's going to be Bristol basketball. Great defense there by the Bayhawks. That's yeah. What, that's what you want to see. Warriors look like they... Warriors look like they feel like they got this one wrapped up. Yeah, they land the foot off the gas pedal. Yeah, Take a James bearish. going to the rack. Ooh, oh, you got to make that. You got to make that easy bunny. Got a little too excited. Got to make that easy bunny. Yeah, so that's that's just been that's been a name of the game. There. Yeah, just when they have like a little smidgen of hope, kind of goes by the wayside. Seventy to forty-nine. Warriors just playing keep away. Cutting through the lane. Hawkins. Oh, come on. Can't get it to fall. Bristol you gotta keep. leaving Young all alone underneath. I mean, you gotta you gotta continue to play. We saw that a couple times this game. You can't just play off the string. Playing in a tournament game. Aww. And there's a maybe a steal. Young a gets to gets to the loose ball and finishes at the rim, lays it up and in. And right, just like that. Yeah, see, that I mean, that's been the story of the game. Yeah. And just like that, the Warriors are back up by 25. That was a questionable call. That he had Marshall there open in the corner. They forced it to James. This is the matchup right here. James and Hawkins, two of the best. And they're going to call a foul. I think it's going to be on. Who are they calling on? They're going to call the number 12, Mataya. Mataya Young. And one thing, one thing scary about this team, uh, Megan, is that there's, what, seven players on this team? Five of them are freshmen. So they're going to be returning five of these players next year. A team that is destined to go to the national tournament. Um, it looks like they're going to be in the New England Regional 21 final um, tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. Yes, but they're leading, they're leading score with it, Hawkins with over 31 points is a sophomore. She won't be back, but you talk no. about Adriana Grant, Eliza yeah. Bell, Shardasia Collins. Definitely players they could build on. Yeah, these, I mean, most of their roster is going to be back. So this is going to be a tough team. A undefeated team that is returning all their players. I like how they Going move. into the lane, cutting to the basket. And who else is Collins? And she'll go to the line. I like how they move. I like yeah. how they move around. They yeah, have a plan. they. Yeah, they cut to the basket. They're looking for the ball. They're looking for each other. For both, man. For both Bayhawks uh, teams, men and women, that's been a problem all season. Just not really moving around too much. Yeah, cutting to the basket. Yeah, exactly. That chopper can't, can't be standing around. Here's Chopper. Chopper trying to go baseline. The uh, Warriors have done a great job of that all day, yeah. taking away baseline. Bristol likes to go baseline. Abby Chopper. Atia Rivera, Eva Katera James. They love to go baseline, and the Warriors have done a great job. Adriana Grant, Eliza Bell, even Matea Young, they've done a great job of taking away the baseline from the, uh, from the Bayhawks. They've been playing great defense. They're forcing uh, the Bayhawks to make tough passes, and they create turnovers. All day long. That's why I said Bristol couldn't get into a shootout with them. Going up, and they're going to call an there offensive. Finally. <laughs> well, she's been doing that. She's done that a couple times in the game. Um, and it's good to see that she got the call. And they're going to call. That's going to be that's going to be it for Shadeja Collins. She fouls out. Boy, if this was a closer game, that'd be key. She's one of the uh, key components to this Warriors team in their backcourt. What a backcourt, Shadeja Collins and uh, Ty Hawkins. I mean, that's a formidable backcourt. Shadeja Collins hails from Winter Haven, Florida. And then you have Young in there. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good one too. That's a good back. Good, great backcourt. And then your forwards, Eliza Bell and Adriana Grant. Mm -hmm. And Renasha Frazier, who's a six-foot freshman who will be returning next year. Warriors are stacked, man. Oh, you heard that just before. Like, like I said, just like the, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just like the Golden State Warriors. So deep. 
I like it this season though. Everyone got no one ha no one has more than two. And they're trying to get the Greek freak over there. No, leave Greek freak in the box. They're winning. <laughs> Be happy with your two. The Greek freak. Be happy with your two. And yeah. let's keep it even. Let's keep it let's keep this. I like how the NBA is right now. So NBA is very entertaining. Big game tonight, Celtics and Rockets from the garden. I love it. Warriors. The this crowd. We came in earlier, Megan, just before the game. I was joking around with the AD, Derek Riveros. He was like, I'm going to go get my seat. I'm like, yeah, good luck trying to get a seat. But there was nobody in the stands. I was clearly joking. But these stands are. Got and loud. Yeah, these stands are jam-packed now. And I can only imagine what the atmosphere is going to be tomorrow for the New England Regional Final. Yeah, they're coming out. I mean. If your team, if your team's 22-0, I'm coming out and showing out and support for them, too. Oh, yeah. And James will go to the line. She's money. I love, how the, I love how Bristol, they are still, you know, they're still cheering each other on. They're still showing emotion, you know. Well, they, they, Even in defeat, I think they've really done a good job of, I mean, you've seen that basket right there. Or the, even when they're getting the call, they're clapping, they're, they, they they're, in, they're into it. It's a shame, you know. Well, we talked. That it has to go out like, you yeah. know, it has to go out like that, but. They're a close group, too. We talked to Coach Han Hanley earlier in the season, and this team goes out together. They fight they, uh, fight on the court together. It's uh, good, great chemistry. That was too easy. Way too easy. Easy basket there. The Warriors have a 27-point lead. James to the rack. Can't get it to fall. We gotta get the rebounds. We gotta stop boxing out. Get some offensive boards. You can hear this crowd. What a nice thing to have, though. Undefeated team have home court advantage. Yeah. Like they need it. <laughs> I was talking to uh, the athletic director, uh, Derek Riveros, about that little about that about that little stipulation. I think the NJCAA. I think they're, I think they're looking into possibly, uh, you know, changing that advantage. That yeah, I think you, know, you have to. You know, seventy-nine to fifty-two, five twenty-nine to play here in the fourth quarter. The Warriors with a large lead over Bristol. We'll take a break here on FRC Media. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody, to the Fieldhouse, the Peter ACF Fieldhouse. In Brockton, Massachusetts. But Taylor James is having a great game. Is Brockton the home of Rocky Marciano? I would not know that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there's a Rocky Marciano Stadium, right? In Brockton? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Lucy Cabral on the fancy camera work. Great job, Lucy, as always. The Dream Team, FRC Media. Steve Reese of the technology doing a great job. want to thank our... Facebook audience, we want to thank our Bristol faithful, everyone who's watched Bayhawks basketball this year. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your support. Warriors playing and, smart um, basketball right now. Been a great year. Great and fun year as always getting to broadcast Bayhawks basketball. No national anthem by our Lucy Cabral. We missed that. We missed her beautiful voice. You can catch Lucy Cabral at your local watering hole tonight. Maybe she'll be singing some karaoke. <laughs> She's a music mogul. Support live, what's it, local live music? Live? Local, yeah, see, I know it. I've seen enough. <laughs> yeah. All right, 81 to 52. Hey, Warriors taking their time playing smart here. Cross court passed. Bell. Three on the shot clock. Got to get it off. Hawkins contested three. No good. And a long rebound. And uh, the, the Warriors will get a new shot clock here. Coach Jay Hanley. Look at Coach Hanley still trying to inspire his team. Yeah, you saw James too. James was like, come on, let's get it together, guys. Yeah. Can't just sit back and look for, wait for the game to end. Like, come on, Harley. You got to move around. They made that. I would have been like, oh, yeah. Rivera comes away with it. What's the call? Travel? She just got the ball. What? 
Well, Masha got her hand, like, it was like her arm maybe stepped on, <laughs> but if you want to call it travel, I guess. Time out here. <laughs> All right, we'll take it. No, we'll keep it here. 81 to 52, 345 to go. And you were talking about talking to the athletic department uh, director, Derek. I was talking to him before the game. Now, Sam, did you expect this uh, going into the season? You know, they're off. They're off uh, just one one win uh, game last season. That was due to forfeit. And now here they are in a tournament. He tells me, you know, it's it's a quick turnover here for uh, community college. And if you get the right uh, right group of players and you know right pieces in the off season, anything can happen. That's true. It can all turn around. The yeah. right recruits. You get the right coach in there. You get the right system. You know, but really and, proud uh, of and, and stick it, and, you know, and have your players stick together and not lose anybody throughout the way. And well, this you know, Bristol has they've had some changes. So yeah. it, you got to give credit to Coach Henley for keeping this group together. Mm -hmm. um, he had to make some moves on the fly. Obviously, they lost their leading scorer, Jada Fortin, mm -hmm. um, midway during the season. Yeah, to academic ineligibility, which is unfortunate. Hopefully, maybe Jada will be back next year. I'm not sure, but that's a that's a huge loss to lose a 35, 36 point scorer like that. Um, halfway through the season, they st Bayhawks started off what seven and two, eight and two this year, and to lose that lead scorer, they had to make some adjustments. Obviously, you missed that scoring, but yeah. they were able to get Abby Chopper, who was a nice addition. Katera James really stepped up as well. Yeah, yeah, Katera, yeah, Katera James stepped up to be that that force. Hurley will lose it out of bounds, and obviously, there's a bright future. But a couple seasons ago, the Bayhawks didn't even field a team. Last year, they they won one game by forfeit. Um, they've had – this is the third coaching change. They've had, a, they've had a couple coaching changes here over the last few years. There's been, like, an instability. I think the biggest thing about college athletics, or especially on the NJCAA, on the, on the junior college level, is you've got to have some sense of stability, and it starts at the top. It does. You know, from your AD down to your coaches. And um, you can't have coaching changes – you know, every other year, like at the Cleveland Browns. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. if they had like 10 coaches over the last, I don't know, as many however as many failed, years. As many as failed first picks. Yeah, exactly. So you got to have that anchor, and I think Coach Hanley going, going forward will um, continue to build on this program. Well, so. you can see he just has a great relationship with the players. He, you know, he cares about how they do yeah. on the court, on the court and off the court. There's a... He's a, he, he was he was assistant coach for the men's basketball team, so he right, has, right. he was under Robbie Lou, who he's was very the, successful. He's got the experience, you know. He's a good basketball mind, and he cares about his players. And like you said, his teammates, I mean his um, his players, they hang out, you know, off the court. They sleep over each other's houses. They care about each other, and it's just a good that's team. mostly what you care about. Yeah, it's and, a good team. You know. Hurley, nice pass there by Chopper. Hurley underneath, kicks it back out. Marshall, Ooh, oh, nice gets her block. shot blocked. Nice block there by Young. Nice job of Eric. And again. Hawkins will do the right thing, I guess, and pull it out. See, even though it's a mercy killing. 82 to 52. This is a 30-point lead, the largest lead for the Warriors today. And believe it or not, this one wasn't that. Cl this one. This was wasn't a, this. Hmm. The wasn't scoreboard easy. doesn't resemble. How I think this one, I don't know. Went for the how the Bayhawks How it should have turned out, yeah. yeah. For how they play, the effort that they put in. They didn't make it. They were easy. hanging right in there. Don't want to, don't want to put it all on the refs, but they, you yeah. know, there's. They had some good uh, offensive sp yeah. uh, spurts, and they, they didn't make it easy for the Warriors. They did not. I think at the end of the day, I think the Warriors just proven too much. Got too much size, athletic ability. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Going to the basket, and Man. Hawkins does a great job. She's a great, she's great with the ball, but she's also great without the ball, and she's showing it right. She showed it right there why she is. I mean, well, I mean, she's great around the rim. I mean, how many times we've seen a couple of times already in this game, she gets hit around the basket. And, and she I doesn't know. Let it her. How, she she cuts to the basket, and she took that hit. I mean, she yeah. took that. You know, she took that force and still able to make the shot. Kind of like uh, Kawhi Leonard, like he just gets around the basket. And <laughs> no matter if you hit him, you'll still put up that shot. Yeah. That's a great quality to have. And the thing is, the Warriors, they started off today, it looked like there was a lid on that basket. How many shots did they miss in the first quarter in the early going? Yeah. I mean, 
but they are. Uh, you, you only got to think if Bristol could have capitalized on a lot of those misses or grab rebounds and not and not given the Warriors second and third chances, this could be a different outcome. The Warriors were missing everything out the gate. But Bristol <laughs> actually had a five nothing lead at the beginning yeah. of the game. Uh, but I want to give credit to uh, Matt Sawyer's defense. They didn't, they didn't let nothing easy for the Bayhawks either. They used their size and uh, they held their own defensively. You know, off, when they weren't doing good offensively either. So that's true. Yeah, I would say for the first half of this game was major majority a defensive game. And it just slipped away here. But the um, Bristol Community College Bayhawks have nothing to hold their heads down about, that's for sure. No. They can keep their heads up and walk out here with pride. A lot of firsts this season, a lot of record breaking. As a Bristol Community College student, I am very proud of this women's basketball team. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And it's been fun broadcasting the games with you there. Was it Megan Holden? Megan Holden. <laughs> That's the name. Megan Holden. All right. See, and now I feel like this is a good. Uh, it's ending too soon. Yeah, it's not. It's nice to see though from uh, Bristol Community College women's sports. It's definitely on uprise. We had the women's soccer team who had a great season, and the women's basketball team having a record-breaking season. It's definitely on the rise. Something we can hopefully build on, and keep going with. What's going on here? Oh, there we go. I don't know. Another foul, I guess, on Bayhawks. <laughs> 84 52. And a turnover. You step on the line. To uh, a little bit over two minutes to play here. Katera James. Mm. Going to be an air ball, going to go out of bounds. She's been having herself a night, though. She's up there in points, easily over 20. You want uh, Bristol to finish strong here. Let's keep fighting, guys. Couple minutes to go here. Playing out the string, Warriors punching their ticket to tomorrow's New England Regional 21 championship game. And if they win that, they will be moving on to the national tournament. Come on, I want to see more fight there. There you go. There you go, James. Nice. Nice pass there by James. Going inside. Finishing off strong here to what was a great game by her. Eighty-four fifty-four. Warriors eating up the clock. And the Warriors with a slow start today, but any marking of a good team is staying the course. And even though they weren't playing their best basketball, they hung in there, the Warriors. Man, I'm so proud of Katera James. She mm. is still fighting in this game. Katera James is going to be our obvious choice for our Bayhawks player of the game in her last game as a Bayhawk. She had a, this was a great game for her. I think. It wasn't the, I'm not sure if it was 51 points, record breaking, but she should definitely be proud about and this game. It's going to be it. going to be a, a sad end. Anytime anything comes to an end, there's a little bit of sadness, but like I said, the Bayhawks have nothing to hang their heads about. And Bristol has a lot of freshmen, too. I mean, a Tia Rivera freshman, oh. their point guard. Abby Hurley, Abby Chopper, Amaya Marshall, all freshmen that could be or will be returning. Some uh, players they can The vote Warrior on. Faithful stands up. Some. The Bristol Faithful will stand up too. And that's going to be it. 84 to 56. The Massasoit Community College improved to 23 and 0 as their quest for perfection continues. They punch their ticket into the New England Regional semifinal tomorrow. And they'll face the winner of either the Bunker Hill Bulldogs, Bunker Hill Community College Bulldogs, or the University of Connecticut at Avery Point Pointers, who play the next game. The winner of that game between UCAP and Bunker Hill will face this Warriors team in tomorrow's final here at Massasoit Community College. The final score, 84-56. to 56. So, Megan, obviously, Bristol, um, what a great season, 15-9. First of all, I want to congratulate the Bristol Community College Bayhawks for a great season this year. They've given us a lot of great moments, a lot of thrills. Coach Jay Hanley, congratulations on a 
on a first year well done. It was. And, and our Bayhawks player of the game is? Katera James, who else? No doubt, <laughs> no doubt about it. She had, I think, easily in 30 points All range. Right. It's an amazing game. Definitely right. keep a head high. Yeah, for sure. So the Bayhawks fall to the Warriors today, but we're proud of them. And uh, for David Cardoza, Megan Holden, next season you'll be mo you'll be moving on to where? I'll be moving on to either UMass Amherst or Emerson. But it's been a great time here with FRC Media, and it was fun talking to you guys. Well, thank you. It's been a great job of doing the games, and a pleasure this year to be doing the games with you. You saved me from doing the season all alone, <laughs> but um, I just want to wish you, like we say in the Navy, fair winds and following seas, my friend. Thank you. Thank all you. All right. You for, <laughs> for David Cardoza, Steve Reese, doing the technology, Lucy Cabral. Doing a beautiful job on the camera work as always. And I'm David Cadoza. All right, so for David Cadoza, Megan Holden, Lucy Cabral, and Steve Reese, the Dream Team, thank you everybody for watching Bayhawks basketball this season. Hopefully you stay tuned next season as the Bayhawks move on to do better and bigger things. So for all of us, to all of you, thank you for watching Bayhawks basketball this season here on FRC Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. Go Good Bayhawks. night, everybody. Go Bayhawks. <laughs>